What's up, guys? Bring my gaming here back with the right video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what the Razer Synapse is all about. So let's just get right into this. So first, when you go to Google Chrome, what you see is this. You search Razer Synapse. Synapse. Right when you search that up, first thing that pops up, okay, I guess I spelled it wrong. The first thing that pops up is Razer Synapse cloud-based driver software. So you click that, and then this is all stuff that you don't need to really, like if you want to, you can look through here. Okay, I guess it already was. Oh no. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to use the scroll bar for now. Basically, you just scroll down here, it tells you what it can do, what about it. So basically, this is the download. Mac, right, Windows, left. That's really all you need to know, I guess. So basically, once you do that, you have to, for Mac, you have to get the application with your application guy or whatever, name and password, all that. And once you get it downloaded, you'll see this. Once you open this, Let's start out with the mouse. This is some list. You see this. Okay. And this is definitely what was going on. So basically now I want this to be scrolled up, not scroll down, because that's what was happening. And basically now what happens is you can change all these the left click I think left click stays left click but right click scroll click all this can be changed with these numbers and sorry I am using the internal microphone I can't use my Yeti today because I already have both of the USB ports plugged in I might get one of those USB things but I'm probably not gonna need it until I get my PC okay next is the um, performance, sensitivity, all that lighting, you can change the scroll bar and this, or like I like to keep it, it scrolls through the chroma. Calibration, um, these are like mouse pads, I think, I don't know, I think that's what those are, and like each one has made different out, made out of stuff they different, I don't know. Um, for the keyboard, you can make different profiles. You can. Oh, wait. I think. Yeah, you can make different profiles. So, different, basically, sets of them. So, real quick, you could just do this. And this is what I did earlier. And then the top left, it says it. But for YouTube test, I did. I guess I did nothing. Because it's all black. Okay. But yeah, so you can make different profiles. Lighting. This is brightness up here. So I can make it dim. I can make it almost all the way off. It looks really bad that way, though. And then I can make it really bright, which looks really sweet. And then, of course, the classic. Okay, these are all the presets. The classic wave, which is the rainbow, the left and right. You can do it whichever way you want it to. That looks actually pretty cool on my screen. Or on my side. Okay, and then static. This is just one color. Spectrum cycling is when you plug it in. This is what it will look like. It just cycles through all the colors. Um, ripple is when you touch a key. There's like arrow shaped colors, like of the color you like, coming out of the other key. It's kind of like that. It's really cool. I would, uh, that one might hurt your eyes a little bit, but depends if you, how bright you have your brightness on. Like, if you have it down halfway or, like, here, let me put it on 50. Okay, we got it on 50. Now, that doesn't affect me as much. If I did this, though, like, I can barely, like, that's not too bad. But this is a little bit intense. For what you're looking at. Reactive. Whenever you touch a key, basically, it lights up. So, right now, every key I touch, is the, it lights up. Whatever color this is. Oh, yeah, this is like the color wheel. You can change the colors. Basically, all that. The um, custom. 
I already have my own. Um, basically, whatever this is, you have an erase tool, a draw tool. You can do this. You can make custom templates like MMO. So it's that. FPS for first person shooters. RTS. And then there's Counter Strike. Um, yeah, all of those where you can do your own little preset like me. Oh no, where'd it go? Okay, there we go. Okay. Okay, well, basically you can just make your own custom. So every color that I draw in, it's popping up the color on my keyboard. Which is really sweet. And you could do this for days, customizing whatever you want. And you can make your own little custom keyboard colors. Which I think is personally really cool. And I really like it. So yeah, that's custom. And then last but not least, breathing it. I personally like it on random color, but if you don't do random color, you can pick one color. Every time you, once you hit a key, it starts breathing almost. Like it makes the color, then it breathes down, like it dims down. It's like the lightness bar, like going like this. Like this, like this, and like, like this, like this, like this, this. <laughs> but yeah, and then you can do random color, and it's basically like it keeps doing the same breathing motion, but each time is a different color or a different shade of the color. I think it's usually always a different color though. Actually, it's okay. Wait, okay. So now, yeah, it just did green. Now it's about to do purple. Okay, so you get the gist, that's what it does. And gaming mode off and on, basically all it does is all the function keys like F1, F2, F3, F4, all the way up to F12 work if you're just clicking them and instead of having to hold down control or alt or shift or all, any of those. And then gaming mode is that exactly. <laughs> And um, if you turn it on, also the F10 key turns white. And then, yeah, that's basically it for the Razor Synapse, I guess. Yeah. So that's all for Razor Synapse. Um, customize your keyboards, do whatever you want to them. It is really, really cool, I think, that they came up with that. You can make your own. That's, that's a good selling point for them. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed, and sorry for no Blue Yeti, but that, well, once I get my gaming PC, which will be, I have to build it, so it'll probably be in about two to two weeks to a month probably until I get that and start building it or I get it and have it finished, okay? So that has been today's third video, and yeah, hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.